Yo guys, Whiteout here with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best NVIDIA control panel settings for gaming and max FPS. I'm gonna show and explain all of the new NVIDIA features such as the low latency mode, NVIDIA performance mode, and also things like the best desktop color settings and the best 3D settings in NVIDIA control panel. And with all these settings, this will help you get the max FPS your PC can get and also reduce input delay. So if you want to boost your FPS, I would recommend watching the whole video so you don't miss out on anything. Before we get into the video, 97% of you guys watching are not subscribed. So if you enjoy the content, consider subscribing. That's nearly almost everyone who watches these videos are not subscribed and it would mean the world to me if you did subscribe. Also, if you want to support me, all you have to do is use my code whiteout in the item shop. If you do use my code, comment down below so I can shout you out in a future video. Now let's aim for 50 people to use code whiteout by the end of next month and now let's get into today's episode. Before we get into the first step, you guys need to know that yes, you have to be on a PC, and you also need a PC that has an NVIDIA graphics card. Now, to go into the control panel, there's two simple ways of doing so. The first way being to right-click your desktop and clicking on the NVIDIA control panel. If for some reason you don't see the control panel on your desktop, you can go into the search bar and type NVIDIA control panel, and it should pop up just like this. Now that it's loaded up, you guys should see a bunch of settings on your screen. We aren't going to be changing every setting on here, but the first thing we're going to be going on is the adjust image settings with preview in the 3D settings. So you want to click on the one that's right here on the top, and you should see this big preview picture with these three options to choose from. You guys want to have the box circled that says use my preference emphasizing. On the bottom of that, there is a slide that has an option to put it on performance or quality. By default, I believe it's on quality, so if it is, all you want to do is change it to performance and then hit apply. By doing this, this is telling your PC you want it to focus less on looks and gain more FPS as it says right here. Moving on, let's go into the display settings and look at your change resolution settings. So once you're on here, you guys need to make sure that you're running the max refresh rate from your monitor. So I have a 240Hz monitor, so yeah, I'm gonna have all these options and you want it to be on 240. So if you have a 144Hz monitor, you want to have that at 144Hz. A lot of people buy 144Hz monitors and 240Hz monitors, but they do not change the refresh rate settings in their PCs, so they're not getting the experience that they paid for. So make sure you have the correct refresh rate checked. Also, don't forget to hit apply. Now I'm going to be going over the settings that will make your game look more vibrant. So we're going to be going into the adjust desktop color settings. So once you go in here, your screen should look like this. But these settings are personal preference, but when I use these settings, the colors in the games pop out more. So that's why I like using them. So to start off, unless you want to blend yourself, I'd recommend you keeping your brightness on 50%. If I was to put it to like 60%, you can see that it's getting brighter. And yeah, you don't want to blind yourself, so yeah, just keep it at 50%. And for your contrast, this is really optional, but you guys need to play with this. I just have mine at 52. I believe the default's 50. But yeah, just play with it and see how you like it. We're also going to be leaving our gamma at 1, but the setting that's actually game changing is your digital vibrance. This setting makes your colors pop out dramatically. I use 75%, but as you guys can see, if I was to turn it down, you can see it just gets like dull. But if you turn it up, you can see how colorful it gets. So yeah, I have mine at 75%. I would recommend using between 70 to 80%, but it's personal preference. This is going to make your games look so much better. And once you're done figuring out your settings, you're going to make sure you hit apply so everything saves. Now we're finished going over our color settings, so now we're going to be going on to the manage 3D settings. This is where we go over performance options to get the best FPS boost. Starting off with your image sharpening, I have it off because it uses more of your GPU usage. I'm giving you guys the best competitive settings so your graphics are gonna look worse. They don't matter in game anyways, but the point of this is to give you a FPS boost in high FPS games. This isn't just for Fortnite by the way. Also depending on the graphics card you have, you probably won't see some of the settings that I have. I have a 3060 so I have a few newer settings on the control panel. So now going back into the settings, you want to turn off all of these except your gamma correction. Having these turned on will just use more of your GPU and you don't want that since it's just focusing more on visuals which will drop your FPS. So moving on to the next setting we have background application max frame rate. To make this shorter you want to have this turned off because you don't want to have Chrome and Spotify at 240 FPS. Now the next settings we have is CUDA GPUs and DSR factors. CUDA GPUs is used for rendering so I would recommend keeping it on because if you're using it for a program for rendering you could utilize it. But for DSR factors, you can turn that off. You don't need it since it's just a visual setting and it only takes FPS away. Now as we move on to low latency mode, this one is questionable. Some people say that it's good to have it on or having it off, or even ultra. I had it on on like for most of the time since I had this PC, but then I used ultra recently and I feel like I have less input delay so I've been using that. So yeah, you guys have to play with the setting. 
For max frame rate, you don't want to have it turned off because you don't want to cap any of your application's frame rates, which it is doing the opposite of. You also want to have multi-frame sample AA turned off as well. And now we're going to scroll down to power management mode. You want to have it at preferred maximum performance so you get the most FPS. For preferred refresh rate, if you have a 60Hz plus monitor, put the setting on the highest available so you're getting the highest refresh rate. Turn shader catch off and turn this texture filtering option off. Oh, there we go. Turn this one off. You want to have this texture filtering negative option on allow because it uses your rendering. For filter quality, you want to have that on the high performance because we want to gain the most FPS. For a trilinear optimization, you want to have it turned on so our textures are getting rendered. Same with the third optimization, you want to have it turned on. And for the rest of the settings, you want to have these turned off. So you might not have everything here, but yeah, if you do have these settings, keep these settings turned off. And then you want to hit apply so everything saves. So now I'm just going to go over it so you guys can see and you guys can copy it yourself. The point of these settings are to use the maximum performance your PC can use so we can gain the most FPS in games. Alright, and now we're done with all of our settings. Guys, that is gonna wrap up today's episode. I hope you guys found this video both enjoyable and informative. If you guys enjoy this type of content and want to see more in the future, make sure to leave a like on this video and comment what type of videos you want to see me upload. Also, subscribe if you're new because it means more than you think. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys in the next video.